Thank you very much for sending in all your birthday cards. Unfortunately, we can't send them back, but if it's your birthday today, a very big happy birthday. There's a place we can go today And it's a place where we all can play Friendly faces, lots of fun, you see And I know it's there for you and me It's a colorful world we live in There's a rainbow of faces everywhere And everyone is beautiful for who they are inside It's a wonderful And this is my world. Garden Variety Pickle. Hi, my friends and I had a fantastic idea. Starting today, we're going to turn this empty plot into a beautiful garden. But to grow plants and flowers, you need nice, fresh soil. We're going to clear away the rubbish and rocks so we can get to the soil. I'm glad I invented this rock picker upper to get rid of all these heavy rocks. I love the wall, Sophie. Gardening is really hard. I've been uh, reading about gardening and you have to break up the dirt and soften it so the plant's roots can grow. Uh, oh, this is hard work. Uh, yeah, this ground is as hard as a pavement. I think we'll have to dig it up with shovels. Uh, but I'm already worn out. Uh. Oh! I know a great way to loosen up the dirt. Looks like good dirt to me. Pickle, let's see what the experts say. <laughs> The flying wormy knees! Whee! If anyone knows dirt, it's a worm! <laughs> they love it! That means the soil's ready! And I know where we can get the most beautiful flowers in all of Todd World! This is my friend, Mrs. Peabody. Hi, Hi Mrs. Peabody. Hi, Mrs. Hello, Peabody. Nice to meet you. Hello, everyone. If you find a plant you like, I can cut off a small part of it for you to plant in your garden. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look over here. Oh, I want to grow glitter flowers. It's totally fabulous. Need a mosquito, a crayon bush. The birds are just like crayons. You can even draw with them. Look, look, a num yum tree. It grows doggy treats in three different flavours. Chili bacon burger, five cheese pizza and... <laughs> table scraps. I've always wanted to study a munching Matilda. They eat rocks. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to pick, Pickle? I'm not sure, but I'll know it when I see it. time at all, I'll grow enough crayons to fill a jumbo-sized box. It's a shame you didn't find any plants you liked in Mrs. Peabody's. Well, none of them are exactly right. Oh! What's this weed doing near my flower bed? It's so ugly! I tried getting rid of it, but it wouldn't let go. I know. I tried to put it out too, but it was too tough for me. 
This looks like a job for super stellar strength. No! Whoa, get back! Huh? This is the plant I want. But Pickle, it's just a weed. It's ugly. It's yucky. I don't think it's ugly. It's just a bit smaller and scraggly because no one's taken care of it. All it needs is someone to love it. Grow little glitter flower, grow big, grow big. Grow little glitter flower, grow, grow, grow. And then the incredible inchworm ties the grop gang into a knot. See? Wow, everything looks fantastic. You know, we should share this with all our friends. Then let's have a garden party. I'm always ready to party. The Benster is a party animal. I know exactly how to throw a garden party. Hmm, we'll serve pink lemonade. We'll hang lots of paper lanterns and... Oh, I should plant even more glitter flowers. After all, they're the most beautiful. Actually, I was thinking of planting more crayon bushes because I think they're the most beautiful. Not to me. My munching Matilda is much prettier than either of those. No, open your eyes. My num yum tree beats them all. Hello, what are you arguing about? Oh, hi, Officer Becky. We were just trying to plan our garden party. What a good idea. Your garden does look very nice. It would look even nicer with more of my glitter flowers. No, no, no. no. We we have have the the much nice now hold on a minute. Calm down. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That means you each think your plant is the most beautiful because you each can see something different and special about it. Believe me, they're all beautiful. Well, I have to get going. I'm looking forward to your party. Well, since we'll never agree, why don't we just leave the garden the way it is? Fine, but there's just one problem. What are we going to do about that? I think we can all agree that that scraggly little wrinkly thing is not beautiful at all. It's beautiful to me. But not to me. What I think counts too. You heard what Officer Becky said. We all think different things are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Pickle's right. We need to respect what he thinks. Yeah. Thank you. Well, even if we don't like your weed, I don't think we have the right to get rid of it. I'm sorry I said bad things about it, Pickle. That's okay. <sighs> so, what else are we going to have at our party? Well, over here we'll set up some games, like Capture the Bow and Volley Bow. Yeah, I love this game. Quiet, everybody. One of the glitter flowers is just about ready. I'm so proud of Stella and her friends. They've made such a beautiful garden. It's very pretty. <gasps> What's that weed doing over there? Goodness, it's a scraggly scrubble weed. You won't find any of those in my garden. The kids probably don't know it's here. Well, I'll pull it out for them. Oh, oh, goodness. <gasps> no, don't do that. No, stop. What, are you doing? what? I was just trying to pull up this nasty weed. Oh, but that nasty weed is Pickle's favourite. It is? It's okay. It's a tough little weed. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Mrs Peabody. Pickle thinks it's beautiful. Really, Pickle? Why? Well, I like that it's all squiggly, like the flying worminis. And I like the sound it makes when the breeze blows. It sounds like the pages of a comic book turning. See? And I like that even though my weed is small and plain, it's also tough and strong. I think that makes it very beautiful. Oh, that's mm. yes. Oh, yes. yes. Look, yes. butterflies. Oh. oh. Wow. That's Not just any butterflies, they're tie-dye butterflies. Wow. Oh. Look at that. I see Pickle's not the only one who thinks the weed is beautiful. Every 
everybody has a different idea about what's beautiful, so it's important to respect how other people see things. A plant that may not look very beautiful to you may be beautiful to someone else, or to a butterfly. When you think about it, the world would be a really boring place if we all saw things the same way. <laughs> See you next time. Love, Todd. And now it's time to listen to the Todd World Music Video Jukebox. You must take a stand if you believe that you're right. You have to be strong, but you don't need to fight. You can feel it inside you, that voice from within. If something's not fair, you don't have to give in. We all have a choice. We all What can you see? A gazillion black dots. And they're all slimy. <laughs> These are all eggs. Oh, goodness me. Fox. Look, now they're hatching. Oh, what could they be? Maybe a fish. They're very <laughs> wriggly. Oh, yes, I know. They're making me giggly. Now they've grown bigger. Oh, what have you found? <laughs> they've got legs and they're jumping around. <laughs> It's a frog. What a funny sound. <laughs> Ribbit. Growing together with CBeebies. Oh. oh. Ah, hello. Excuse me. Oh, this is very heavy. Ah, there we go. I've collected all the rubbish from the CBeebies house and popped it in here because it needs to be recycled, which means I need to put it in the correct boxes. So we have cardboard and paper, plastic, and tins and cans. Let's see what we've got in here. A plastic bottle. Now, where do you think this goes? Do you think it goes cardboard and paper, plastic, or tins and cans? That's right, the plastic box. We'll pop that in there. Okay, oh, well, we've got some tin cans here. Now, where do you think they go? Do you think they go in the cardboard and paper? No. Oh, how about the tins and cans? we go. We've got some cardboard tubes here. Um, cardboard and paper, plastic or tins and cans? Cardboard and paper. We're doing very well here. And we have an egg box. Hmm. Made of what? Cardboard and paper, plastic or tins and cans? Uh, it's not plastic. 